We present rethinking semantic segmentation, a prototype view. The task of semantic segmentation is to learn a segmentation network to predict the category for each pixel in the input image. Most networks are FCM based, but since the year 2020, transformer based models become popular. Despite diverse model designs, almost all FCM models and most transformer models are based on parametric soft math projection. They include a FCN or attention network for feature extraction and a projection head to project features into the semantic label space. The probability prediction of each pixel can be computed as an equation. A few transformer-based models follow the good practice of transformer in other fields like object detection and they adopt a pixel query strategy. For mask decoding, the probability distribution of each pixel is usually computed in this way. After noticing the two mask decoding strategies, we naturally ask a question, what are the relationship and difference between them? Answering this question motivates us to rethink the task from a prototype view. The idea of prototype-based classification is classical. It represents classes with a set of prototypes here is PM, and the classification with this sample is determined based on its proximity to the prototypes. In addition, the two mask decoding strategies can be written in a unified form with the idea of prototype-based classification and this unified formulation, we can answer the question. Both paradigms are based on parametric prototype learning in the sense that they learn one prototype for each class. Therefore, we can regard that soft math projection-based methods also learn query vectors in a secret manner. For specific implementations, these two strategies usually use different distance measurements, and query-based methods often feed queries into a transformer decoder for cross-class content learning. With this unified view, we ask another question, what are the limitations of the paradigm? There are three critical issues. First, they describe each class by only one prototype, bearing no intra-class variation. Second, the amount of the learnable prototype parameters grows with the number of categories, hindering the scalability. Third, current models learn pixel features by directly optimizing segmentation accuracy, for example, using a cross-entropy loss, but they ignore no inductive bias about the feature distribution. We address these issues. We propose a non-learnable prototype-based non-parametric segmentation model. It represents each class using multiple prototypes, and these prototypes are non-learnable. In addition to the cross-entropy loss, we introduce a prototype-anchored metric learning scheme to learn a better feature space. The figure shows our training pipeline. Our model performs the non-learnable prototype based on pixel classification. For model training, we can use the cross-entropy loss. However, the CE loss only considers pixel class relations and only penalizes relative distances. Next, I will introduce the online clustering algorithm for prototype selection and then provide the details of the two new training objectives that rely on the clustering results. Our clustering algorithm assigns all pixels of each class to the prototypes belonging to that class, and then update the prototypes according to the assignment. We achieve this by solving an optimization problem to maximize the similarity between pixel embeddings and the prototypes. The problem can be easily solved using the synchron NOP algorithm. With the pixel prototype assignments, it's natural to derive a training objective for prototype assignment prediction. This can be viewed as a pixel prototype contrastive learning strategy. In addition, we propose another objective to directly minimize the distance between each pixel and its prototype. Our network is based on non-parametric classifier. Its feature extractor is learned by SGD using the combined loss. However, for the prototypes, they are not learned by SJD, but online updated in a momentum manner. Our model achieves consistent improvements against famous models on ADE and cityscapes. The model shows strong capability in large vocabulary semantic segmentation, and the number of model parameters doesn't change with the class number. Our code is available at GitHub. Thanks for watching the video.